welcome back so i'll be showing you guys a fourth of july trade you should be doing instead but before i get into it make sure you guys drop a like down below and as well subscribe to the channel with your post notifications on and without further ado let me get straight into it so when you guys are grinding throughout the fourth of july promo obviously do your journey obviously get every reward possible that you can get so you can go into the trades and claim players now we have the core trades which is your uncommon exchange rare player player collector and even the epic ones obviously you even got the 500 x trophy one that i don't think anyone does because what's the point of that really you want to get players to put on your team or get players to trade for madamax tokens to get madamax players to put on your team now with the token exchange you know it's just more stuff here which you can use your tokens i'm back to the core the core is uh player based i believe yeah but the token exchange obviously you grant through our journey you take your tokens you get your players you get your players you go to core you claim more players obviously if you get on commons you put into uh the rares and then you take your rares that you get from that and you put into your epics and if you get you know out of the token exchange rares or epics you'll take your rares put into your epics you'll take your epics put it into the trade you should be doing instead which is the fourth of july iconic player now this is only really if you want a mad max player if you want an actual player out of the fourth of july promo what you should do is grind for that player but if you don't care what you should be doing instead is doing the fourth of july iconic player putting in five epics because when you do this you basically have to spend one less epic and they're all at random so you put the five epics in you take your iconic whatever iconic you get you will then go ahead and do that iconic trade so let's just say i did the fourth of july a random iconic player and i just got michael strahan i will go ahead and do michael strahan's trade right here to go ahead and complete him to then throw him into a foil to then take the foil to go ahead and get around 1000 plus metamax tokens so that's really what you should be doing and as i said that's only if you want to go ahead and get a Mad Max player. If you actually want one of these players, you have to grind the full way, which is these six epics. And then you can get your player and then you can do it again because you have to do it twice. And then, you know, boom, boom, get your two, you go over here, you put it in and then get your foil. Now, with the promo, honestly, with my initial like first like thoughts when I looked at it, I have to say it's a pretty solid promo grinding this is not that bad okay it's just like any other promo you play through our journey you get your players and you go ahead and put them in it should take maybe around i would say three four days to get a forge like on a player you're gonna get a foil maybe it'll take maybe four five which is a little bit longer it depends on how you're grinding i have no clue and also how high your overall is because if you're a certain high overall you can get an epic right away but yeah, you can also get lucky out of the, you know, trades as well, out of the token exchange, out of the, uh, what is it, uncommon pluses, 5x uncommon pluses, you can get a rare epic player out of there, which will help you grind tremendously and boost it up. And, uh, you know, you'll get that head start. Honestly, that's going to do it. I love the 4th of July Carter. I just got to say that it's actually pretty nice, to be fair. I'm loving it. I wish there was fireworks. There's just like stars like i i thought there would have been fireworks on the cards but it's just like a line goes up and the two stars come out on both sides i mean yeah there's a little like kind of and eh, it's not really that fire I, I i thought there would be fireworks eh. it's like more of a star spangled banner theme in my opinion but i'd give the fourth of july promo a solid like 8.5 to 10 i like fourth of july but that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.